This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to do this beautiful scalloped rib. This is pretty easy to do. I'm on a brother machine, standard gauge with a ribber. I have 60 needles set up for knit one, purl one ribbing and I'm going to do a very typical cast on with a tight zigzag row and then three circular rows. The carriage is set for plain and on the very tightest tension on the main bed and the ribber. The slide lever is over on the right on the ribber. I'm going to thread the carriage so that I can do the zigzag row, bringing the yarn in between the two beds, putting it in the carriage and going from right to left. I'm putting on the comb now and I'm going to put on two of the larger weights. Then I'm going to knit the three rows for the circular selvage. I'm loosening the carriages up to just one click above the zero and setting them for circular knitting. And putting in my three rows. Now I can cancel the circular and start my fancy pattern. I went up to tension 2 and canceled the circular, doing one row from right to left. Now I have to set my carriage so that held needles don't knit. So I just slide this over right here into the H position. I'm going to pick out some needles to not knit. The third needle and then I skip four and bring out the fifth. So four back, one up. and I'm going to knit three rows. You see how it tucked the held needles and it did not knit them? Then I'll cancel the hold so it knits all the stitches. Turn the hold right back on and pick out those needles again. Three rows. Cancel hold, knit a row. Turn the hold right back on and pick out the needles again. Three rows. Cancel hold. Turn the hold right back on and do that one more time. This can be the last time. You only need a few repeats to get a really great looking scallop. Cancel hold and that finishes the design. Now you've got a choice to make. You can either transfer the stitches up to the main bed and continue in stockinette or you could continue in ribbing in some situations or arrange the needles some other way. I'm going to transfer the stitches up to stockinette and knit a few rows. Here I am transferring that last stitch up. I'm going to drop my ribber. Isn't that interesting how that looks? And I will change to the other fabric presser. So I'm taking off this connecting arm. I also have to turn up my carriage to the tension for the regular garment and I think I'll run it up to tension 5. Thread up and this is an awful lot of weight for just stockinette so the weights come off too. And I'll knit about 20 rows. Then I'll take the knitting off the machine and show you the decorative edge. To really make the scallop stand out, I like to give them a little tuck. And when I spread it out, you can see how it looks on the stockinette side. And you can also see how it looks on the ribber side of the work. So here it is all rolled up. My other sample has been blocked, 
let me zoom in so that you can see the structure of the stitches as well as possible. Try that. I think you'll find it a really fun decorative edge for your garments.